The warm volcanic sand serves as an incubator for their eggs. And a few weeks after the arrival of the herd, the eggs hatch. Hadrosaurs look after their young with care. They bring mouthfuls of plants for them to eat. Each nest may contain over 20 youngsters. The babies have arrived at a time of brief but rich summer plenty. Fueled by a sun that for weeks never sets, horsetails here grow fast and in sufficient numbers to feed the whole herd. These plants contain more nutrients than the lushest grass. And in the long summer days, the hadrosaur babies grow quickly. They can reach half their adult size in their first year. Right now, these volcanic wetlands are the most productive places on the planet. Both above and below the surface of the water. But that very productivity brings problems for the hydrosaurs. Warm, shallow pools are an excellent breeding ground for mosquitoes. Every year, this paradise turns into a living hell. Hadrosaurs have surprisingly thin skin, and so have little defense against blood-sucking insects. Constant irritation makes it hard to feed, and they become dangerously weakened. And babies can lose blood in life-threatening quantities. Eventually, the herd is forced to move on to escape the plague. If the young can't keep up, their mothers abandon them. As they go higher, stronger winds bring some relief. But only for those able to walk that far. <laughs> 